Have you ever experienced the ordeal of passing a kidney stone? If so, I genuinely sympathize because I've been there, done that, and it was a journey I wouldn't wish upon my worst enemy. It was about a decade ago, precisely on March 13th, 2014, the end of 13 days that felt like a lifetime, but the memory still haunts me like a ghost. Heck, I've even talked to mothers who've both given birth and battled a kidney stone, and guess what they say? Those tiny stones packed a mightier punch. Now, how something so minuscule can unleash such torment upon us is a cosmic joke that even I can't fathom, but that's life for you. But speaking of enduring life's quirks, let me share a personal confession with you. See, I've got this habit. I'm constantly brimming with ideas and projects like a mad scientist with a lab full of experiments. Yet, for some reason, I've struggled to bring these endeavors to completion. It's not like I'm not capable. I absolutely am. But sometimes there's this little voice inside my head, a tiny doubt whispering that maybe I'm not quite worthy of success. Now, I'm not telling you this to elicit sympathy or sound all gloomy. No, quite the opposite. I'm sharing this with you because many of you might be going through something similar. You see, we're all human and we all have our moments of self-doubt and that's perfectly okay. What's important is recognizing these feelings and not letting them hold us back, just as Toastmasters encourages us to face our fears and grow as communicators. So I've made peace with the fact that, yes, I still grapple with this fear of success at times, but I've also learned that it's just another twist in life's roller coaster. And like any roller coaster, it can be exhilarating once you embrace the ride. And boy, do I love me some roller coasters. The ups, the downs, and the upside downs too. <laughs> so my friends, let's discuss combating this fear of success together. Step one. Recognize it for what it is, a sneaky little stone causing unnecessary pain. Understand the roots of your self-doubt and note when it rears its head. Step two, embrace the discomfort, just like you did with that kidney stone. Step out of your comfort zone and challenge yourself regularly. Remember, Sometimes you have to endure a little agony to achieve greatness. Step three, seek support from friends, family, or even a therapist, because let's be real, we all benefit from a helping hand when we venture into the unknown. Step four, divide your goals into smaller achievable tasks. When facing the fear of success, don't aim for the grand finale immediately. Instead, break your big goals into smaller, manageable steps. This not only makes success feel less daunting, but also provides a sense of accomplishment with each milestone you reach. And step five, celebrate your victories, no matter how small. Toastmasters believe in recognizing progress. Each time you conquer a fear or make a step toward your goals, celebrate it. It could be as simple as treating yourself to a favorite meal or sharing your success with loved ones. Celebrations not only boost your confidence, but also reinforce your commitment on the journey. And speaking of celebrations, I'm thrilled to share that I've now 
been successfully in a business for an entire year. Happy first anniversary, shoebox scanning. Conquering the fear of success is not an overnight task, but the journey is worth taking, much like battling those kidney stones. Embrace each step, utilize resources within your support network, and remember that every great success story has moments of doubt and struggle. Just as I've triumphed over kidney stones, you too can overcome your fears and reach new heights in your personal and professional life. The world is waiting for your success story. And with the support and guidance of Dynamically Speaking, you'll find the strength to shatter the limits, leaving fear behind like a distant memory. Thank you.